These right here are free, 100% free. Look at these. So detailed on these. Look at that. So detailed. You want to get free images just like this? Oh, man, look at that. That is so beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Look how detailed these are. These are super, super detailed. Now, I'm going to start this off saying, hey, look, I am not no AI expert, but I have been enjoying using some AI products. So I have paid for the Kling AI, and I have paid for the Leonardo. I've tried one month and one month of each one of them to see how they are. And yeah, they, they, they're pretty decent. Now, if you can get as close to that as possible and learn how to write your scripts, but yet you can do it for free, wouldn't you want to do it for free? So that's what I'm going to get in here. Again, I'm not an AI expert. I don't do a bunch of AI videos, but I tell you what, I'm 45 years old, and I'm telling you, if I can start learning some of this, some of y'all young bucks out there, some of y'all y'all 20-year-olds, so, I mean, y'all can get this done. This right here, I, I really, really, so far, I'm enjoying it. I went ahead and deleted everything. Got an, I had to get another hard drive because you got to make sure that you have a good hard drive space because it eats up a lot. So that's what I'm going to go through in this video. We're going to go ahead and open up Pinocchio. Um, I just reinstalled it. It's right here on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I'm going to try to do my best. I'm sorry if the video turns out to be a little bit long, but I'm going to try to do my best to explain it step by step for you. So you're just going to click the Discover button. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, then there's going to be a lot of these that are going to be for you. This is going to be one of the ones that I am going to download. Uh, a lot of this is going to actually be time lapse, and I'll have some music in the background. But this is going to be one of them right here. I have a list, actually, of some of the ones that I was going through and playing with. So we do know we want Allegra. We want uh, Cog Studio um, Model Scope and Forge. Forge right here. This right here is actually Flux. This is what we everybody's wanting for Flux, 100%. So this is going to be my first one to do. It's telling me now that everything's not installed on here. So we are going to install, right? So we're going to go ahead and hit install. And now we're going to let it do its thing. For me, it was roughly 32 minutes. For y'all, it was just a few seconds, but here we are. So what I'm going to do is, so right here, you have text to image, uh, image to image. You have your prompt and your negative prompts if you want to put a negative prompt. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go actually go to Leonardo, and I'm going to pull something up here. Uh, let's see here. Let's go. That owl looks pretty cool, right? So we're going to come in here, and we're going to take the prompt. And here you can go to chat TPT and um, you can uh, create prompts if you're not that good at a prompt. So that's what I'm going to do. There is no right click on the mouse. You do have to use your keyboard shortcut. So control V and then I'm going to go ahead and hit generate. So again, you have so many different parameters right here. Uh, it, this is going to actually make a small one. Uh, I can actually bump this up to 1080, which is what I'm going to actually what I'm doing. So we're going to do 1920 uh, for the next one. So 1920 by 1080. That way we know that we have, because look at that, that's just a little bitty, little bitty image. So, uh, so that's the image that it gave us. And that's the image that we pulled it from, right? So again, not bad whatsoever. Now, I don't have to worry about credits. I don't have to worry about none of that. So say now I want to do it again. I'm going to do it in the 1920. I'm going to go ahead and just hit generate again. This program is pretty pretty fast, but again, I am running a 13700K with a 4090. So uh, depending on how the new Ryzen 9800X3D comes out compared to uh, the 1400KS, uh, I'm going to most likely be going to the KS for right now. Uh, I do like that you get to watch it as it's doing it because it's like, oh, wait, hold up. That's that's going to look like crap. Let's see what it actually turns out to be right here. Uh, but I'm going to probably want to go into the 14900KS. Uh, I do custom water cool anyways. All right, so it kind of does look like crap, right? So now we can come in here and we can choose uh, a sample method. So we want realistic flux. So I'm going to actually choose flux. 
Now we can come here and what style do we want to use? So I'm going to actually use flux, right? So now what style am I going to do? Let's do um, cinematic. Let's do SAI cinematic and go ahead and generate. And remember, I mean, you can sit here and you can mess up all day long because it's free. There is no credits. You don't have to worry about credits on here. This right here is just so awesome. Just don't get sucked in like I did. And you're going to go to Pinocchio and you're going to start downloading everything on here. And there's this, there's so much and it takes up so much space. So, uh, again, you, you have so many different things in here. Uh, you can choose, you know, this one here is uh, uh, Flux, two times slower. Uh, you got one one time slower, one point two five times slower. Uh, again, you got you got different different things you can do in here. Uh, you also got here, which I don't. I tried playing around with this, and it did, actually didn't give me nothing. So until I learn more about this program, kind of keep it simple. Um, if any of y'all know what lures are, if you're new into this, but yeah, you know what lures are. I know they help out. So if I can figure out the the lures, so there's that owl. Not too bad. Not too bad. So let's go ahead and we're going to add another one to this. Let's uh, let's see what else we got down in here. Uh, I know there's a couple of them that have, what, pop art. Uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and add another cinematic. So I'm going to do both of these on the cinematic. But yeah, if you're gonna, uh, you know, if you like this video and you like, you know, this type of content, go ahead and leave a like and go ahead and subscribe. I'm again, I'm not a big AI. I'm not gonna come out with all the new latest AI stuff unless it's something that's coming out on here on Pinocchio. Uh, as far as I know, you can run this on an AMD GPU, but uh, I think they. So again, this one here is for the NVIDIA GPU. Um, the sorry to your AMD guys. I don't know if there's any walk around on that. So, I mean, these images are just, look, I mean, look at that. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and take off this one here and do just that one. We're going to still, let's go flux realistic. Let's go back to the uh, Euler here. Go ahead and generate it again. Oh, and if you want, you can batch up to a hundred of these. Uh, it's going to take you about 20 minutes, but you can do, you know, up to a hundred of these. Uh, that's batch count. Batch size is up to eight for your batch size. Uh, yeah, uh, your CFG, uh, which is your classified free guidance scale. How strong the image should uh, conform to the prompt. Lower values produce more creative results. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna bump that one up for the next one. This one here. I wish they did that on all these where they told you what it was. So. That's that is friggin' awesome. I mean, it granted, yes, it does look different than um Leonardo right here, but I mean that that's it's it's AI, it's supposed to be different, right? You're never gonna get the same thing. So now that we bump this up, let me go ahead and generate. Uh, because again, I there's all these settings down here I don't really know. Uh now, as soon as I find like CPU offloading, I'll turn that off since I do have a 4090 with 24 gigs of RAM. Uh hopefully the 5090 comes out. I'm hoping that they come out with two variants. I hope they come out with the 5090, the regular variant, and I'm hoping that it comes out. Uh, I hope, I really do. I, I, we all can only wish, right? But I hope they come out and they drop them prices down to about 1600 for it and then come out with a 5090 Ti because it's supposed to either have 24 or 32 gigs of RAM somewhere in there. But if they came out with a 5090 Ti with 48 gigs, especially with the way AI is going, I don't see why they would not do 48 gigs of RAM, of RAM on there. So this one is, seems like it is taking a little bit longer, bumping up that uh, CFG scale. So um, again, the schedule type, I, I don't know. But I mean, again, there I don't have to worry about running out of credits or, or I only have daily credits or uh, I have to worry about watermarks and taking out the watermarks in my video. Okay, so it did nothing. Holy crap. It, that did nothing. What the heck is that? So, again, you know, it, it is. So, we're, we're going to go ahead and bump it back down. Um, let's go ahead and bump it. Let's just bump it up to two, right? Let's just bump it up to two. We didn't mess with none of that. Um, 
Yeah. Again, I mean, I'd have to sit here and go through each one of these. I just keep it on the uh, Euler right here, and then I mess with this here, or I'll go down to the actual flux right here to do most of mine is actually with the flux is what I've been playing around with for about a week now. And I've produced some, some really, really nice um, images. Uh, let's see if I can actually pull any of them up while this is doing that. But yeah, no, this is a really, really cool, especially for AI and if you have anything. So this is one of them right here. This is one that I did. I mean, this is really detailed. Look at this. I mean, I'm zoomed in on this. I don't know how YouTube is, is bringing this through. Uh, but there's also uh, some programs in here that will also upscale as well. So they're, you know, screw upscaling and paying for that, paying for it. You can get it right here for free. So it's actually turning pretty dark right here again. So um, the next one, what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and bump that back down to one. Uh, I didn't mess with nothing else. We'll take that off here for the next one. Let that one finish out because it's still doing. That's why it's these little red it's saying that it's still in progress. Um, there's a there's no way you can see the script. So yeah, that's that's really really dark. So what else? Let's um uh, again. Let's try it one more time. So as it's doing, I'll go ahead and come back here. I mean, I made a cart. That's that same guy. I made a, a little anime out of it. I mean, that's that's really really good. Uh, now these uh, open source image to video will be get better than. Um, it would, that would right would be really really nice. Uh, here's another one. I can't think of the the actor's name, but the guy from um, the Allstate commercials, and uh, he also plays in Tomorrow War with Chris Pratt. But that's who that actually looks like. All right, so now we're back on track a little bit here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, so yeah, so now we're back on track to what we're doing after I took everything out. So I just kept it on that flux uh, right there. What else do we want to do? Let's see. Let's do original photo style, digital painting, skin enhancer. Let's do anime. Let's see what it does for the anime. And then I'll grab another one from um, Leonardo over here. See what they got. Some of the anime actually comes out pretty good. So, and it all depends on what your, how good your prompt is. And again, I'm new at a lot of this. So my prompting is, is pretty crappy right now. Uh, here's another one, Medieval Battle Guy. I mean, that is this insane, the detail. Look at that. That detail is insane. I'm trying to think of any, any other ones. I have another channel that I actually, I do. Um, oh, crap. Look at that. That that's actually really, really good. Um that was underneath the anime. But I have another channel that I do uh, little music videos on. Oh yeah, this one right here really shocked me. Look at that. Look at that. That is just phenomenal. That is very phenomenal. How would you like to get this right here for free? You know, you can get this image right here for free. So yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and put a different prompt in here. Go ahead and we're going to put that in there and we're going to go ahead and take the anime off. Everything else is still going to be there. Uh, what else did I do that I could show that I did on here yesterday? I had, I have quite a few of them. I did a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, um, Kling AI, Kling AI does really, really good. Uh, this one right here was a Leonardo. This was at a Leonardo right here. That was really good. Uh, again, it wasn't here. Look at that anime starting to take off. Look at that anime starting to take off. That's just phenomenal. And remember, this is this is what we had for our uh, script right here from uh, Leonardo. So that's what we get. Come on now. For free, no script, no daily, no don't have to worry about running out of no credits. That right there is what we're talking about, right? Now, again, like I said, you keep running into a program that can uh, turn these into uh, videos, you know? I mean, you got something going. 
But we got SD, XL, Flux. I still don't know what everything else is in here for the UI. Let's go ahead and click on S uh, uh, SD real quick. So a SD changed a lot of parameters here. So we're going to go ahead and go back to 1920 by 1080 is all I'm going to change. I just want at least 1920 by 1080 and then go ahead and generate. Um, and then, of course, you can click all where it does all the UIs. So I don't know if it's going to try to mix it all or do it all or, or whatnot. So here's another one that I created yesterday. That right there is phenomenal. And again, free. 100% free. So, like I said, there's there's a lot to it. There's a lot more programs in Pinocchio. Again, man, hit that like button down below if you're if you're liking this. Uh, I would assume they say that this one here uh, for the um, NVIDIA GPUs. Oh, what is it doing? For the NVIDIA GPUs that I, I think that you can do as little as 8 gigs or 4 gigs, something like that. I don't think we're going to get anything out of here on that SD. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click the all button and try it one more time. You got your checkpoint, which is, of course, Flux. Uh, text encoder. There's nothing here. And it gave, me, gave us nothing here. All right. So let's just do all again. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it where it's at. Uh, your sample stepping is how many times it can sample it. So, I mean, you can bust this down to one, and, I mean, it's going to generate a crappy image. But it's going to probably be the fastest real quick. So I do know the sample steps are, they, they're supposed to go a lot quicker for your, your sample steps. And uh, did it go that quick that it's already done? Yeah, see, so it's already done as I'm sitting there talking. But let's go to eight, generate. Yeah, so the more steps you get, you give it, uh, it, it was set to 20, so let's just bump it up to 30. Go ahead and generate it again. But the more steps you give it, uh, might have to blur this one out, gentlemen. I ain't too bad. I mean, that's still not bad, right? And now, again, I put all of them. So uh, let's go ahead. I don't want to bump it. I don't want it to take too long while I'm showing. Let's go ahead and bump that back down to, let's go to 40. It'll go, go ahead and generate. Again, I mean, this is off of that one from uh, Leonardo right there. I mean, we're, we're getting pretty good results here. Again, this one's a little bit more detailed because it's in a different format. And I get, as soon as I change this over to that 1920, by 1080, then I'm going to go ahead and do that again. But yeah, again, you know, I, I like to do reviews and I like product reviews, but I also like some of the software review and AI being a newer, huge thing right now. I mean, I right, sorry, I, I had a brain for it. I, I didn't know if that was gonna make it a naked or what. See, I don't know if there's any limitations on that on this. I'm I don't think that way. I don't do anything uh negative that way. So um this right here, I know that you have a freedom of doing uh, a lot more. I do know that this can be used for commercial use. Uh check everything out as you're doing it. So I'm gonna do one more image after that one right here is done and see what we can replicate here. Let's do, let's do these strawberries in the water. Let's go ahead and do something like that right there. Again, though, Flux is going to be your best one. Flux is what's going to give you your best. So, again, I, I don't know what the heck's going on there. She has, like, so many arms and boobage and extra stuff down here so yeah it, it really messed up on that one there um i'll go ahead and take that photo out um let's go back to flux and we're going to put this in here uh 
I keep trying to right click on the mouse, control V, but we are going to change it from the emulator to the flux realistic. Um, we won't slow it down. So again, 1980 or 1920, excuse me. I bet that'd probably be easier by 1080. Oh my God. That was so much easier. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. All right, let's go ahead and generate. And again, this is the script that we're going off of right here. I mean, I like this one too. That one looks pretty cool. Um, but I, I mean, I don't know if it might even bring it in. Uh, your computer will get a little slow. Your temperatures of your video card act like you're actually playing a video game. Let me actually close that down. Um, playing a video game. So that's where your temps. So like my temps right now are, uh, 48 or so. I'm on custom water cool. Go ahead and turn my, my voltage where it's maxed out here. My power limits are not being reached. If you notice, I jumped up on my temperature too there because of that. Um, but it'll get things done faster and quicker as well. But yeah, no, this is a, a really, really nice, nice program. I really do like it. Again, that one's, I already closed uh, Leonardo down. It's not looking like that other one from Leonardo, but you know what? That is pretty realistic. That right there could actually fly for a commercial or something, something that you're trying to do. So what do y'all think? What do y'all think about Flux? I mean, again, there's going to be some drawbacks. There's It's going to be learning how to write that, that prompt, that script, right? You got to learn how to do the prompting. And the more detailed and the more that you can get into it, but as you're doing it, you don't have to worry about wasting credits. You don't have to worry about... Uh, you know, a, a subscription plan or a monthly plan. You don't have to pay for nothing. I mean, uh, at the same time, though, remember, though, you are kind of paying a little bit because your video card is overperforming. But it's no different than playing a video game, though. But it's your electricity bill. Your electricity bill is the only thing that's going to hurt. Uh, but I still, again, it's no different than a video game. So if you sat here for eight hours on a Saturday, say, okay, I'm taking a break from work and I'm going to game for eight hours. Speaking of gaming, go ahead and check out the review on this uh Vader 4 Pro by Fly Digi, uh, non sponsored or nothing. Man, this right here, I've been smacking people in Call of Duty with this bad boy. But no, go ahead and check the review out. Man, I have so many products coming in. I had a couple of companies actually reach out to me. Uh, they're sending me products, so I'm waiting on them to come in the mail. All right, so if you like honest reviews and stuff, go ahead and click right here. I'll have my honest, you know, I have a bunch of reviews that I've done. I got more products coming in. Again, click right here. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, again, I don't know how much AI stuff I'm going to do, but I just want to bring this out. I, this is just awesome. This is very awesome. And even if you're, if you're you know, mid-age like I am, don't worry about it. It's very easy. I'm Thomas of Tomology. I'll catch you in the next one.